Welcome to Easy WordPress Tutorials. This is Jeremy Phillips from EasyWordPressTutorials.com and we're going to jump right in to following the exact steps of how to get a WordPress blog up and running on your own domain and on your own website hosting account so that you can have much more control. Now of course you can go to WordPress.com and get a free blog and not have to purchase web hosting and kind of avoid that side of it and it'll be easy I'll give you that it'll be it'll be a very simple process but you're not going to have near as much control to be able to do some different things that you can learn about in the future and this this specific tutorial is just you know how to get this thing up and running so that it's functional but after you get it functional there are all kinds of things that you could be able to do to make it much more customized but if you go with the wordpress.com route and, and avoid purchasing web hosting and that kind of thing um, you're gonna lose a lot more control and a lot more ability um, to customize your website in the future so this specific tutorial however is how to get it up and running now um, one of the things that I found when I first started trying to do this is there is a lot of information out there on how to get a WordPress blog going but a lot of it was not connected in a way that somebody who's not really familiar with uh, the ins and outs of um, you know putting a website together if you already knew how to do that then you could do it but um, if you don't know anything about putting a website together it was really hard to put all of that information um, into your head and and make it make sense and so what my my goal with these tutorials is to try to have this to be as simple as possible and you're gonna be able to follow along without any problem and so what I want to do is take you through the first step and you may already have have done this but we're gonna go to domain.com and we're going to do the first step, which is to pick a domain name or a website address. And so um, what I'm going to do is show you one that is not available because I already have that. And that is um, Easy WordPress Tutorials. And we're going to search for that. And so what I'm going to tell you, though, is don't purchase this domain name because the website hosting that I'm going to show you in a special link that we're going to talk about in a minute or in a future tutorial is um, going to give you a free domain name but this is just an easy search tool so that you can figure out you know what do you want your domain name to be and so this is you know saying what to search for dot com dot net dot org and so you don't need to put that right here and you just go ahead and click search and it's going to show what's taken and what's not taken and so um, this one is taken by me of course and all these other ones are available so now let's search for one let's go back here and let's search for one that is definitely gonna be available and let's add the word test to this just to show you what comes up and more than likely obviously all of these are gonna be available and so all this step really involves is just the very first step of figuring out what do you want your website to be in and, and you know make sure it's somewhat related to your business that you're trying to start up or or maybe if you want to do even your own name you know uh, jeremyphillips.com is actually taken and so I can't go that way and so this will let you you find out um, what you would like to use and so once you've chosen a domain name don't buy it um, we're gonna move on to the next step which is purchase web hosting and there you're gonna be able to get the free domain name and then the hosting account where you'll be able to upload your WordPress files to and get the process started 